find someone that you're happy to walk down East Colfax with. <laughs> Completely. I'm originally from the East Coast. Uh, I was living at the time in uh, Boston. And as a cartoonist, I was doing a lot more shows and traveling. And I just happened to be accepted in this show down in New Orleans. And I had a table and Kelly was at the table next to me. We started talking. Next thing we know, we are talking about the Denver band Slim Cessna's Auto Club. And we were friends online for a couple of years, but it would not have happened had we not had that conversation of having this band in common that we really liked. Kelly was saying to me that if I wanted a true Denver experience, I needed to see Slim Cessna's Auto Club at the Bluebird, New Year's Eve, and hometown experience. And that was at the end of 2003. And that's when we started dating. 20 years later and we're married and... <laughs> Randomly meeting in New Orleans and bonding over a Denver band. A lot of my illustration work is based naturally around Denver, but I, the reason I think it works is I view Denver as Kelly's city. This is Kelly's city and I use my illustrations, the Queen City book and everything as a way of learning about Denver. I still view myself as an outsider looking into Denver. And I think the thing that I love about that is he shows me things in Denver that I just take for granted. His experience in Denver has really like kind of broadened my view of Denver because otherwise it's just like, ah, oh, here I live. And so to have somebody from somewhere else who is really kind of looking at it under a microscope just observationally instead of critically or loving it or ignoring everything like really just sort of looking at it like helps you see things that you don't normally notice what i do find romantic are the small moments that you just come across in the city say you're walking down east colfax just as the sun is setting and the neon lights and Pete's satire, Pete satire and Pete's Kitchen light up and start glowing. Catching the tango dancers in Cheeseman Park when they dance at the pavilions. I've never seen this before until I moved to Denver, like how the sky just lights up orange as the sun sets behind the mountains. Those moments are utterly romantic. And Denver has a lot of those little moments that if you're just paying attention, you see. So beautiful. That's one of the things I wanted to do with my artwork. Just kind of like put a little pin going, this is what Denver was like at the early 21st century. And hopefully like, you know, create a record that people 20, 30 years from now can look back and go, hey, and remember, do you remember Muddy's, you know? And I think the thing that I love about that is, again, he brings my attention to places. He goes to the library and he like learns like what was in this space like a hundred years ago when it first was built. People are so captured in the moment that, you know, the past gets easily forgotten. So hanging out with him, the past doesn't get forgotten. <laughs> Find, find someone that you can talk to. Find someone that you enjoy. Talking to. Find someone that no matter where you go, you're gonna have fun with that person. Yeah. And obviously 20 years in, so. <laughs>